Welcome to another episode of Inside the Charge. Maddie Glab here with Shaq Lawson and Leonard Floyd. Excited to get into it with you guys. Talk a little D-line, talk a little fits, talk the season so far. Okay, you guys have been getting after the quarterback this season. It has been fun to watch the group as a whole so far. Leonard, I'm going to start with you because you're leading the team in sacks. What has been up this season with you guys? It's been so fun. Uh, it's just been an overall effort from all the guys. Uh, just buying in our position coach, Coach E. He uh, preached to us about getting to the quarterback, and we work hard at practice on uh, the moves to get there, and the uh, guy's been doing a good job of executing. Shaq, what has it been like to be a part of this defensive line group this season and just see the stats that you guys have been able to put up at several different points, leading the NFL in sacks, leading the NFL in quarterback hits? You guys are making a huge impact. Um, that was our biggest emphasis coming out the offseason is finding a way to get to the quarterback. You know, that's really been what we've been missing, like trying to get to the, uh, the win in playoffs is getting to the quarterback. So, uh, like Flo said, man, we just been buying in with uh, Coach E said, and we all just working. Not, not like, you know, most guys be like selfish, but all, everybody on our D-line want everybody to eat. So we all just want to take turns and get to the quarterback and stuff like that. So we just buying in with Coach E. I love, it. To us. I love it. You guys, Rush has won for sure. I know that's a mantra of Eric Washington's your D-line coach. So it's been Amazing to see you guys do that. Can't wait to see what's in store for the rest of the season. But let's get into fit check. Talk about what you guys have been wearing for game days. All right, Shaq, let's start with you because you've had some good fits this season. I've pulled a couple and we're going to go uh, talk about a couple from each of you. This was the most recent game at Highmark Stadium. We've got an all green look from Shaq Lawson. Shaq, wanna, wanna take us through this? Yeah, I'm gonna take you through this fit, man. <laughs> you know, it's just a little, man, I just call this uh, fit, man, free throw, man. You know, slime green, you know, uh -huh. just a little short set, a little, little, little casual, but you know, I had, a, I had a little turtleneck to make it a little bossy, you know? That's what really made the fit, really the turtleneck, not All the green, green and stuff like that, but. What about the shoes? What shoes you got on there? Some aces, you know, the aces mm -hmm. coming back in style. You know, I remember I used to laugh at my uh, high school coach and things <laughs> like that for wearing aces. And now I'm looking like that. I'm wearing a pair of aces. So, it, I mean, my feet, it feel good. You know, you don't got to wear them, them designer shoes all mm -hmm. the time because they be mm -hmm. hurting your feet. But just another little chill, little classy, little fit. Nothing too much. Nothing I like too crazy. it. I like the turtleneck because it's like November. It's getting colder outside. So you got the shorts, but you also got the turtleneck going on. Yeah, yeah. So. I really would call that day. Hey, well, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> all right, Leonard, let's talk about your latest game day fit. I see you got some ASICs on too. You got an all black fit. Want to oh, describe it for us? <laughs> so you got ASICs, I'm, I'm going to correct you on that one. These, my shoes are Balenciaga. Oh, you, you know, do they, uh, look, they look like they, ASICs? Yeah, wow, that. just cut that. See, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't nah, you straight though. Nah, you straight though. They look alike. <laughs> nah, that's why. That's what would, you, would you be caught in ASICs? No, nah, I wear ASICs. Okay, uh, okay. I don't, I don't want to like be like, oh yeah, you were in ASICs, and you're like, I would never wear ASICs. Nah, I do. You were in Balenciaga, and is that a Prada jacket on top? It looks like yeah, Prada. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. a Prada jacket. You got the Prada right. Mm -hmm. From the jacket is from the uh, trip to London. I had went to did a little shopping. Uh, just all black, man. Feeling myself, uh, ready to play. I love it. I love it. All right. Shaq, let's go back to you next. You had an all black look going on. This was earlier on in the season. You had some baggy pants. You can't see what shoes you got on. Yeah. But I love the chain because the chain pops when you have all black on. What what was the thought about going in? What you trying to say about my fit? My fit weak, but my chain's pop. No, I love it. I love it. <laughs> no, nah, what I had on right here, I had on some Rick Irwin pants, you okay. know. Uh about two bands. So I've been I'm gonna get my two thousand dollars worth. I don't want them about ten that. times. And I had some little uh, SB dunks under that too crazy. I also had another black turtleneck. that. That's my all black fit, man. I walk Where, in black shades like Morpheus. Where's the jacket from? Fashion Nova. Ooh. Shout out to Fashion Nova, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they thought I had on. They thought I had on LV Javinci. See, you thought I had on something crazy. I mean, it kind of looks like mm -hmm. Prada a little because you have the See, triangle like at Prada. the top. It's that snake skin, all black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I like it, Fashion Nova. So you, do you put fits together where you, you'll spend a lot on, on some parts, but other yeah, parts so, is not like, a bunch? Yeah, like pants, like I probably, cause you gonna wear your pants more than one time mm -hmm. and some shoes, but man, I got the turtleneck from Zara. Wow. Zara ain't even cheap though, but you know what I'm saying? But wow. The jacket, I'm gonna keep a I jacket can, about probably like Zara 20, 30 Fashion dollars. Nova. Though. I yeah. can't afford $2,000 pants though. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Only you guys can do that. All right, let's talk about one more from you, Flo. You've got some army green pants on. Yeah, you've got the camo pants on. Got you've me. got a nice shirt on. Got the mm -hmm. chain. Describe this game day style that you have. Uh, this style is uh, chill, but in that mood. Uh, I got on the gallery pants. I got on the Rick's, the Rick shoes. The uh, Hell Star shirt. Got the watch and the hat. Uh, and my chain is in, is in, it's incredible. Have you ever seen it? Uh, nah, for real. It's big. Yeah, yeah, it's a big piece. Uh, just swaggy, man. What's on that chain? Flow piece. It's called the flow piece. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's big. Yeah, it's only one. Made is it like, bigger than your 90 chain? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then my 90 chain kind of big. Mm hmm So you know his chain big. He got a kilo on his neck. Wow. <laughs> when did you get that chain made? Yeah, I got it made after uh, I won a Super Bowl in L.A. Wow. Did all my playoff checks and made it into a chain. Why not? Mm -hmm. And I got to talk about this group picture because every home game, at least, the defensive line meets up for mm -hmm. a group pick before you guys head out onto the field. When did this start, Shaq? You've uh, been here a little bit longer yeah, than Yeah, I think we so. started it last year. A couple guys, I think Daquan actually started last okay. year. It's like, hey, man, we... We about to go take the field, the war together with each other. Might as well, we, we could take our picture together pre-game, mm -hmm. man. They didn't even lead on to, well, when Quan was here, most of you guys do it, but guys would walk around the sideline mm -hmm. as a D-line group and things like that. That's something Quan has started. It's, it's been good because, you know, that we all kind of like, kind of waiting, waiting on each other to go down to the stadium mm -hmm. and seeing our fits and taking one group picture. I love that you guys do that together. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about game day style. How early do you guys pick the outfits for game day? I'm last minute. You're yeah. last minute? I'm very last minute. Probably an hour before I leave the house to go to the stadium. So do you guys just buy a bunch of stuff and then you're like, all right, what do I have in the closet today that I can put on for this game? Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. yeah, we buy just like different pieces and things like that and then eventually you're gonna find one piece you already bought mm -hmm. to a piece you already got in that closet and it's gonna Make be like it. oh you got your fresh fit right yep. there. so you spend a lot of money on pants and shoes would you say no nah, i don't think nah. nah. i went no nah, not really not really what do you Can't what do you spend <laughs> what do you spend money on when it comes to clothing uh, are you a shoes guy probably a pants guy pants yeah like if i find a designer that i like I usually buy that for the whole year. What what designers right now do you I like, gallery. like a lot? Gallery, I like gallery a lot. Okay, yeah. what do you like about gallery? Because I see quite a few of you guys on the team rocking gallery. Uh, just the material. Uh, you can wash it a few times and it still fit like it's brand new. Uh, and the pants, some of the best pants. What about you, Shaq? Do you have any designers that you love? Uh, I kind of like Gallery and Hellstar. Hellstar has been my new go-to this year. Mm -hmm. I, like Flo said, Gallery with the pants, they best by hands down. Like, they give you that, that baggy, mm -hmm. that baggy look That's that you it. had back That's in the day. It. So, and then some of their pants have like, they don't spat, splatter paint on and things like that. But uh, Hellstar, as like one of the feats you showed me earlier mm -hmm. was the Hellstar shirt I had mm -hmm. on. It's just, I mean, it's a yarn. Young guy, I think he about 2021 20, coming out with it, his own design and shirts ain't that high. It's like, well, two hundred dollar shirt might be high to most people, <laughs> but yeah, yeah that's, shirt, yeah, that's shirt a lot not for that me. high. Then you paying for a thousand dollar shirt though. So I mean, Hellstar has been one of the, cause they got. Would, would you buy a thousand dollar shirt? I have. I bought a thousand dollar jacket. Jacket, not a shirt. okay, okay. Jacket, understand? Would you buy a thousand dollar t-shirt yeah, flow of t-shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just gotta wear it multiple Dang. times. Depends is that is that how you look at it too? If you, I mean, if, you, if I get a few sacks in the game, I'm I'm looking at how. Like I'm whatever. Going. Yeah. Whatever doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. Me, I'm looking, looking at. Feel good if I wore this fit like three, four months before, I'm gonna turn around. You gonna might see me in Miami with a same fit. Them folks okay. ain't gonna see me. That's okay. You <laughs> see when I post on Instagram. Yeah, it's all good. 
All right, I love that. I love that you guys, um, and the whole defensive line, I feel like you guys have some guys who dress really well on the yeah, defensive we'll line and team as a whole. Well, who the swag is one on the D-line then? i give you the big feel. Big Phil? Yeah, big feel. He walks in with his daughter. Yeah, he, he keep it on. He's got on, pics like, with her. He put it on yeah. regular. He had like the furry, oh, the furry vest on. Yeah. Some fur, long sleeve, that looked good. Shaq, I, I do like your outfits a lot. Thank you, I'm, thank I'm you. I'm gonna give it to you. Second year in a row, <laughs> second year in a row. Second year in a row, she told me she liked my outfits. Mm -hmm. Yep, I still throw it back to last year when you had those baggy jeans on and that pink, like pink sweatshirt or pink oh zip up. Oh my God, the jacket, he ain't seen it yet. You gotta go back you gotta, you gotta You gotta bring it out this year. Because that was, that and you had pink shoes. That jacket was three hundred dollars. Not Cheap bad, here. not bad. That's, got, that's I got my three hundred dollars worth. I wore it last year. Still got the jacket. <laughs> my, I'm like, I bought forty five dollar pants. I got to wear them forty five forty five times. Right. Dollar a time, you know. That's, that's how we work here. All right, let's get into a little bit more about the defensive line group. <laughs> Okay, you guys are both eight-year vets. You got drafted in the same draft class, mm -hmm. both both in the first round. Um, I feel like a lot of people here don't realize that, not players, just people who are fans of the team, um, watch the NFL, sometimes forget that you guys were in the same draft class. We're, we're drafted not too far apart, apart from each other, ninth and 19th overall. Did you guys know each other going into the draft? You guys, of you guys were at um, Hargrave Military. Hargrave Military. Yes, yeah, so I couldn't remember the name of Hargrave Military. But how long have you two known each other for? And just going back to like Part twenty. Well, we've been on year eight, about probably nine. Yeah. Not cool in the year we. Oh my gosh. We supposed to came yeah. in twenty twelve, about nine years. Okay. Wow. So when you found out Leonard Floyd has come to the Bills. What'd you think? I went crazy. They, they gave me a reason to come back here. I'm like, I can get to play on my boy Flo again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the time, when we coming out of high school, we was me and him, me, him, number one and two in our position, man. We was dominant. He he was trying to get me to go to college, to Georgia, but yeah, I did. things didn't work out that way. But another opportunity yeah. to play with him and to win a Super Bowl, mm -hmm. man, that's gonna be our legacy right, right there. So when I found out Flo was coming back, man, that just brightened up. And, and we know what type of player he was getting, man. Mm -hmm. He been having 10 sacks every year, so we knew a guy was going to come in and make an impact right away. Yeah, Flo, when you were decided, okay, Buffalo is where I'm going to go mm -hmm. and Shaq is there, what were some of your first thoughts, knowing that you'd be back mm -hmm. with somebody you've known for so long? Yeah, to be honest, Shaq was one of the first persons I called. Like, Shaq, I'm going to come. I'm coming, bro. You, he, I think you was out or something, wasn't you? Yeah, I was at the club. Yeah, yeah. he was out. Yeah, was he like, was out. And he was like, yeah, bro, let's go. Off-season life. Why do you think Flo has had such a good season here? I mean, he, he, he prepared. Like, he a pro, you know. And, you know, shoot, he going to get it. Like, he been doing it since he did at Georgia. Going, going to get the passer. Mm -hmm. I don't care what shape, form, or what injury he got going. He's going to get the quarterback, bro. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what you really need to a guy that could change the game and help win the Super Bowl. And Flo, for you, why why has it been clicking so quickly here? Just having guys like my bro Shaq with me. Uh, it's just we bounce off each other, man. The energy be real. Like, if he make a play, I'm celebrating before anybody. Facts. I make a play, I look over, he's celebrating for me. So it's just a brotherhood that we got off the field that's really big for us. The brotherhood you guys have off the field, and you say it's so big, and I think anybody can see it, even people who aren't in the locker room can see what, what you guys mean to each other and just the relationships that you have off the field. Um, how does Coach Washington kind of allow you guys to just be yourself and, and not try and change who you are as a person, who you are on the field, but is able to kind of elevate all of that? And how do, how do you see all of that come together on game day? Um, Coach, you just let us... Let us rock out. You know, he he put the tools and get us all the technique, the things we need throughout the week. And he just always tells us, be ourselves. You know, he that's one of, I could say my eight years in the league, the only like D-line coach I actually learned from is because he very detailed mm -hmm. things about that. But we need time to let you spin. He going to let you spin. Yeah. So. Flo, I remember when you came in, maybe one of the first interviews you did with the media, you said, this system fits me because we can get out, we can go after the quarterback. And talking with a lot of de the defensive linemen on this roster, they've said, you know, 
we're not put in a box here. We're not put in a box of like you're only a three tech. You're only gonna you're only gonna be a nose tackle. You're only gonna rush from here. Mm -hmm. What does that allow you to do as somebody who's been in the, in the NFL for eight years and and you can kind of play to your own strengths, not not what the coach is telling you. You have to fit inside this box of what you need to do. Yeah, it gives you the uh, ability to play free, knowing that. Uh, that uh, your coach got your back, man, and he, he wants you to go out there and risk it to make plays, you know. Uh, it's just a trust factor that the coach, you build with the coach from practicing and things like that. The, then you take it to the game and you go out there and make plays for him. And uh, it's all to help the, the D-line room look mm -hmm. good and our position coach look good. How much fun are you guys having on the field? I mean, how much fun is it to be a part of a group like this? Uh, it's, it's having fun, you know. Um, just having fun, like we playing a kid's game, so. And then you gotta think about like where we came from. So um, to get here, you know, like that hard grade, like back on that hard grade, mm -hmm. is you only, like only a few made it. So we had a lot of people go D1, but it's like me, him, and Dion the only one made it. So yeah. it's, it means a lot more to us because the struggle we had to get through to get get where we at. We ain't really come out the womb mm -hmm. uh, going freshman year with the spoon like in our mouth was like that we was gonna be ready to play. We just had to go another route because we all had to get our grades right. and stuff and work, mm -hmm. play football and do military. So that that, that played a toll on your body. And you, you guys know. did it. Yeah, well, Looking you now, you're all at the Bills too. Dion was a part of that as well. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, great documentary story. We win the whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, now Netflix. We're, now we're talking, now we're talking. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the characters inside the defensive line room. Flo, who's the funniest guy in the D-line room? Is he sitting right here? Yeah, definitely Shaq. <laughs> Shaq is by what, far. What makes him so funny? I'm going to crack it's, on you. It's the, uh, <laughs> he, he's so free-minded, man. He, he say whatever on his mind, you know. He like he like to see people laugh. I think he, like, he he keep jokes on him. Like, and he was doing that at hard grade since I met him. Like he ain't never changed. So have you've always been like this? Yeah, they, I came out the womb. Came like out that. the womb mm -hmm. making jokes. Man, I came out. Yeah, I knew it was at point in time it was serious. Like, I wouldn't say I was really bullying, but you know back in the day they were saying cracking jokes was yeah. bullying people. Yeah. You know what they said? Picking so, on people. I had I had a bully, yeah, I had like one of them bully little things come up. So I knew then I was I cracked jokes too much. I was like, okay, this is serious, you know. So did you have to take a step back then, or or no? Oh no, I ain't nothing. Just, Everybody just... accepted me. I mean, they know they, they know what come with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you? Does everybody here enjoy your your jokes? Yeah, yeah, yeah people do. Yeah, <laughs> some people. Do, yeah, everybody do. Some people do. What know. is what is the joy for you being able to make other people laugh? And you never know what's going on at home. You know, we all in here in workplace. We all got our own situations back at the crib. Right. So, man, if they come in here and need a little smile. I mean, Crane gonna put a smile and make you laugh or something. Cause, I mean, we in a hard business already as it is, yeah. and things like that. A lot to come with it. So, that's just that's all the thing I be thinking about. And, Who's the most serious on the defensive line? Daquan. Daquan Jones. Yeah. Flo, would you agree? Or do you have somebody else in mind? I'm trying to think. Serious. Probably myself, but Daquan. Yeah, yeah, he be serious until I make him laugh. <laughs> so once I make him laugh, it's a wrap. <laughs> How would you describe Flo? What's his personality like, Shaq? Flo quiet. I mean, you don't never know he in the room unless, you, like you said, if you talk to him. You know what I'm saying? It's just he quiet, go about his business, mind his business, go about his business. And so that's why he, he having the success he is right now. Are you quiet because you have people like Shaq next to you all the time? Yeah, he talk for me. Yeah, he, he busts the jokes for me. He talk for me. I ain't got to say nothing at all. Who do you think is the most likely to become a coach on the defensive line? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. Who could you see coaching in the NFL one day? Who loves ball? Coaching in the NF NFL? Uh... We know Vaughn's going to be a GM. Yeah, Vaughn want to be GM. I'd probably say AJ. 
Hey, yeah. I can see Day, that. Yeah. That's good. Daquan, I can see that too. Daquan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who would you say watches the most tape out of your group? Daquan. Sure. <laughs> I just remember that from last year. How much tape Trying you Trying to learn yeah. the defense, yeah. watching all that tape. Mm -hmm. What we all watch tape, though. Let me tell you that, man. We all watch I tape know, a lot. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. You yeah, got, got to watch tape to be able to do it. Yeah, listen. You yeah. do. Do you guys have any funny stories from the room that you want to share? Or what is what is an average day in the D-line room like? Aside from talking about the, the opponent ahead, what is it like? Shaq walks uh, in the room, cracks a joke, you guys sit down. No, nah, we really Tim, be chill. Like Tim, Tim, Tim the loudest. Tim be loud. Early in the morning. <laughs> like you know, Tim, Tim be loud. It don't really be a joke. It just some of the uh, Kinsley always got something funny to say. The reaction <laughs> coach, uh, Coach E be doing with the board and stuff, and be moving and stuff. We just, I just <laughs> pay attention. Coach E be having me. Re Coach E really funny. He really he had me laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Does he crack jokes or is it? Nah, just, he don't crack jokes. It's just, just the way he is. He don't even trying to be. He's not even trying to be funny. It's just funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's just. That's just. That's, that's just crying. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I love Coach E though, man. He. I love that. Um, okay, got a couple more for you guys before we let you go. Um, you have both been on a lot of different NFL teams. What, What is something that you guys know that most people don't know or wouldn't understand about playing for multiple teams in the NFL? Is there something that a fan wouldn't know that you think is either important to how you guys have learned to play the game right now or – is it a like it's truly a journey and takes a lot of hard work to be able to make it? Is is there something about playing on multiple teams? Yeah, it is a lot though. I ain't gonna lie. Cause when I first came in the league, I just told myself I always just wanna be with one team. But you know, that didn't end up happening. But uh it's just yeah, you gotta you gotta fit it's different cultures, so everything is a lot different from mm -hmm. so I went from here to Miami, like going to Miami is like the Patriot system way. So everything was like real mm -hmm. up buttoned tight. Up. Yeah, yep. buttoned up and things like that. Um, so you got to be ready to uh, for culture change to the adjust. most part. Yeah, yeah. just adjust. Mm -hmm. What about you, Leonard? I feel like uh, going to different teams is part of it. NFL, not for long. That's what some mm -hmm. of the players call it. Uh, you just gotta re restart, refocus, and stay stay hungry, stay an underdog. You know what I'm saying? Don't let you going to another team bring you down. It's really showing how good you is that another team wants you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, you guys are in Flat. year eight, Flat. and you still got a lot ahead of you, both mm -hmm. of you. Shaq, you want to be a, you want to be on air after after the NFL. Yeah, so on TV. so what do you want to do? Tell tell the cam what you what we, what we want to do. do. You don't know who's watching, you know. I don't really know, but I wanted like a little love a crane, like a little date. So I like, I mm. be the little whole little whole host, get a, you know what I'm saying. Not really like a dating show, but like something like survivors make these girls do some like like fear factor, not eating bugs and not not that <laughs> thing, but like surviving out in the wild. Yeah, just sur surviving on the wild. I want to do something like that, like. You like want to be a game show Obstacle course host. and stuff. Yeah, I want to do like oh, a game okay. show Oh, okay, obstacle host. courses. All right, I can be on. I mean, I had a, a great career in the ACC. I always could be an ACC network too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. SEC network over here. <laughs> Flo, would you want to be on TV after after your career wraps up? Oh, no, nah, I, I plan on being the guy <laughs> behind closed doors getting their bread, you know, a yep. couple businesses. I really want to be an entrepreneur. Yep, crunching yeah. numbers. Yeah. Making moves, mm -hmm. you'll be on air. Be on that, man. Yeah, he with a ball that. cut. With you? Yeah. You think about how old I get? I might lose my health eventually. I, I think it's growing yeah. pretty well right now. I don't think so. Well, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you taking the time. I know you are busy gentlemen. I know it's a Friday, so get up on out of here. <laughs> Shaq flow inside the charge, baby.